Hey, I'm JR, and I'm here with the new Denon AVR-X line of home theater receivers. We're going to go through the whole line from bottom to top uh, so that you'll have a good understanding of what you get when you spend just a little bit more as you move up the line. First off, they all have Wi-Fi. You can also Bluetooth music into them. You can AirPlay music to them if you have an Apple device. All of the HDMI and video sections will pass through 4K video, HDR, so you get the better contrast ratio, as well as Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. So these are ready to go for the best in home theater video and sound. And on top of all that, Denon has built Heos in. Heos is Denon's multi-room wireless music system, and uh, you can now have that right there in the receivers themselves. So they become a player of music on your network. Let's start here with the AVR-X 1400H, H for Heos. It's a 7.2 channel receiver. It's got about 80 watts per channel. It does have two audio zones, so if you wanted to have uh, home theater going in one room and music in another room, you can do that right from here. And you've got six HDMI inputs, and it's got one HDMI output to go to your TV. When you move to the 2400, first off, you get a little bit more power, up to 95 watts of power now. You also got two more HDMI inputs, so you can plug that many more things into it, and you get an extra HDMI output. So you got two, and they're parallel, which means they output the same video. So maybe you might have a projector screen and a TV mounted behind it. So your projector's for when you're watching movies and the lights are dim and it's an experience, and when you just want to watch the news, you put the screen up and you watch the TV, and all of that comes from your receiver using the two parallel HDMI outputs. The next model is the AVRX 3400. We're gonna once again add a little bit more power, 105 watts. We're still at 7.2 channels. We've still got eight HDMI inputs, but now we've got two discrete HDMI outputs, which means we could send two separate video sources to two separate displays, whether they're in the same room or different rooms at the same time. It's pretty flexible what you can do with all of that as well as 7.2 channel preamp outputs. So if you have some separate amplifiers you'd like to use to power some of your speakers, you can do that using the 7.2 channel audio outputs. Moving up to the AVRX 4400, we're gonna add two channels of power. So now we're at 9.2. So your Dolby Atmos and your DTSX get that much more enveloping with more speakers surrounding you. Or you can even have more speakers in other rooms because now you can have three separate zones of audio going simultaneously. You have about 125 watts of power, so once again, we've stepped it up a notch. And this time, three HDMI outputs. Two of them are discrete, one of them is parallel. So you can have two separate things of video go into two separate displays and two separate rooms if you want. And then you can also parallel, so you can do that two screens in one room thing. Last but not least, the AVRX 6400H more power, more channels. Right now we're at 11.2 channels, so you can have the full Atmos or DTS experience, which would be seven channels of speakers surrounding you, two subwoofers in the corner, and four speakers up in the ceiling. Full-on, incredible movie theater experience for watching movies. Uh, also, each of those channels is now 140 watts of power, and that's Denon power, so you know it's built tough. Uh, that's the Denon line. It's an impressive line of receivers, as of course, as always, chock full of features, built tough, like we're really impressed with the build quality on these, and of course the sound quality is great. And now that you can do Heos, they're even more flexible than they've ever been. So we're pretty big fans of the Den Online, and we'd love to talk to you about it. So if you have any questions about these or anything else at Crutchfield, just give us a call.